Uh, first of all, I mean, we think that, you know, the markets are, are waiting for the, the Fed announcement tonight. Uh, we, as a firm, don't expect much of a change in their stance uh, for the next months, months and a half. Uh, we think that the Feds need to gather more data on the U.S. economy. Uh, if you take the recent PMI numbers, they were okay, but a bit below expectation. If you look at the improvement in the job market, yes, there are strong signs of improvement, but uh, the quality uh, in this improvement is not uh, that uh, there yet. And when you look at inflation numbers, actually, they are slightly below expectation. So there is no reason for the Fed, who is already reducing uh, its uh, purchase program in August, we're going to go down by 10 billion US dollars. Uh, so it's really a situation of wait and see. And so that should bode well for the markets overall. And so from a monetary point of view, uh, liquidity is ample. And so uh, we continue to favor equity over the other asset class and uh, US, Europe, uh, but also China are on our radar currently. But, you know, the, the, the Russian situation is, uh, is a bit complicated because this is the first time that Europe is taking, uh, uh, you know, more meaningful sanctions. Uh, we know some sectors will be affected. Uh, recapitalizing, looking to issue new credit from Russian companies in Europe is going to be an issue. And probably those Russian companies are going to look towards Asia to, uh, for fresh money. That's a possibility. Uh, now, once you actually know which sectors are relatively at risk, like the financial sectors and some industrial sectors, uh, we still think that there are opportunities to invest in Russia at the moment. Uh, Russia is not likely to create any systemic risk globally. Uh, its size and its weight in the economy is not big enough to uh, matter really to what's going on in, in the US or in Japan or even in Western Europe. Uh, but this requires definitely more selection in terms of sectors. And uh, this is a good thing for, for stock pickers like us. Uh, but we need to follow properly. The, the numbers on the, the, the Russian, the expectation by the market on Russia are still a bit too high. You know, market expecting 1 to 1.2% 1 GDP growth this year. Uh, this is fairly high. We think that it's going to be uh, below that level. Uh, but in terms of earnings, the market has already downgraded quite significantly the Russian economy. And uh, we see some stress on the yields uh, in, uh, in Russia. So net-net, uh, yes, the situation may worsen in the short term. That may create more volatility. But uh, mid to long term, uh, we wouldn't actually uh, disregard uh, Russian assets as an investment case.